am Gigi Doll. Today I'm going to show you what's in uh, a makeup tote bag that I sometimes carry or bring out when I'm doing my makeup. This is called an inspiration makeup tote bag, like some inspiration. And when I was in New York, I got this from a national wholesale at the beer store. On the handles, I hooked a, a collection of um, useless keys on two chains. <clears throat> and some of the keys are useful, like these two keys that I have paired together that came with this big makeup box that I bought a couple of months ago. Maybe I could show you that later, but now I'm going to show you all the makeup that I carry in this makeup tote bag. Keys on the handle. Now, for the first thing, like, of course, I will show you the front pocket. Starting with the front, which is labeled as the brand. I already served the keys. This is a Beauty Treats Lip Shiner in Shiny Red. I put it on my lip. I like this now. This is a L'Oreal Peach Lip Gloss. The brand name is worn out. I've been using it for, like, since 2007. It's almost finished, but I really need it. This is another Mountain Dew lip gloss that was part of the Pepsi Party lip balm pack. I'm using another one just like this currently. This is an Apartment 5 eyeliner. This is a Clinique um, Long Long Last um, Gloss Wear SPF 15, and it's in the color Fireberry or yeah, fireberry. <clears throat> this is a Kirkland um, Position Lip Liner Nude. This is a um, Mariposa um, Platinum Eyebrow or Eyeshadow Pencil. This is Black Radiance um, Professional Eyeliner Pencil in black. This is an almost used up double eye liner in sky blue. I can't really see the frame right now because it's worn out to the nub. This is Kirkland Woogie White Lip Gloss that's been mixed with um, red and red lipstick because I sometimes when I wear red lipstick I put the lip gloss over it and it, and it makes the brush red and when I put it back in it mixes the color up and it's like almost pinkish purple. It's Kirkland Woogie Lip Plumper in pink. Kirkland Wordy Lip Gloss in Hot Magenta Pink. A no name big the fat blue eyeliner. A no name brand red lipstick. Another no name in this color is um uh, I think the uh, burgundy dark red. <laughs> no name. I like no name. It's fun. It's wet and wild pink lipstick. Prestige um, red lip liner. Dark red lip liner. <coughs> Maybelline Lip Express um, Mocha Blast um, Lip Liner. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, now let's start with um, the inside of this bag. This is Kirkland Wordy Shimmer Powder. Sometimes I use it as bunny shimmer, sometimes I use it as concealer or bronzer. Uh, Kirkland Borgie's, um eyeshadow palette. I'm going to show it all the time. It slides out and shows on there, and uh, one applicator. <coughs> It's, this is an Aziza 2 um, blush, double blush thing, uh, applicator. It comes in a light and medium kind of blush shade. This is a CoverGirl blush. Ulta shadow palette. There. And then it's placed under an applicator, isn't that weird? Applicator and the mirror is under. <laughs> weird. LA Color by Shadow Palette or whatever. Rimmel um, eyeshadow palette. I'm getting a lot of eyeshadow palettes out. Cover Girl brush. Another eyeshadow palette that doesn't have an applicator, sadly. Kirkland Borgie Blush Stick. It's a natural rouse rouge. Sometimes it's that one. I just put that on. I even put the red lipstick from that no name brand on just now. L5 shadow palette with the applicator placed on there, just like the Ulta one. <laughs> Another L5 shadow palette, same thing as the Ulta. That shows. Yeah, I'll make pressed powder. It's a shame that this comes out this box. Like comes out of the compact, but luckily it's am able to use it. <laughs> and up and I keep that box panel that comes out. Nia Color Cheek Glow Press Powder with an applicator. Okay, A makeup pencil sharpener. And lastly, a uh, Kirkland Borgie's um, shimmer eyeshadow. It's sad to see the shimmer eyeshadow has been broken up. Yeah, but I can still use it. <laughs> I hope, so hope that it doesn't fall out or explode all over the place. <coughs> This is all I have. So all the mascara that, if I had all the mascara that, that was left in the uh, makeup tote bag, I took all the mascara stuff and put it in the cosmetic handbag that I showed you earlier. I took this in um, the cosmetic handbag. I mentioned that to you. That's great lash her brush on his flat. And this is from Ulta, so really good. There's some new stuff that I put in the cosmetic can that too. The cleaning cloth for the elf mirror, because sometimes when they're just dirty, I don't like it. Let me show you real quick. And I got this Revlon Brow Sculpting Gel, Mascara Gel, for when I sculpt my brow. Like, it was from yesterday or over the weekend. At the big lot. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my makeup tote bag tutorial. Woohoo! <laughs> in addition with the new stuff I put in, in my cosmetic handbag. Only two, but whatever. 
I'm a red, I'm the red GDA KGB doll, and that's also, what's that, that, that's also.